Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2024 Hyundai Kona. This is the N line, the first of the vehicles coming out, as well as the Limited. You're going to see the rest of the vehicles, as well as the electric, all EV, coming out very soon. But I wanted to show you this vehicle because there is a lot that is new. Besides, the vehicle looks completely different, both inside and out. There is more storage. There's another engine option. There's an electric option, which we had before in the previous Kona. But this vehicle is so much more, and now it looks like the little sister to the Ionic 5 and the Ionic 6, which is their all EV lineup, but it has a whole new modern look, starting with this LED line all the way across the front of the car. That is new. The Hyundai logo you've seen before, it is in matte silver and a nice clean front on this and the N line badging. Our test vehicle rides on 19 inch alloy wheels. They're 235, 45, 19. New design. I like the clean look and that N line look is right here. I also like these strong cut lines that are around the vehicle. It's more modern and it certainly is an improvement over the previous generation. Because this is a compact crossover, you want it to look more modern and certainly this is an improvement. You can see all these body lines. If you looked at a Tucson before or some of the other Hyundai product, you now see its relationship to it. They match. The N line offers a black roof line as well as black trim around the windows and black mirror caps and body color handles. You'll notice the black along the lower sill as well and the black wing with that race inspired N line look. Coming around to the back is where you're going to see that N-line inspiration that I personally like. This upper wing has spaces for airflow, but it looks really cool and makes this little compact crossover look a lot more sporty. You also have that third brake light here. The wiper blade is here. I kind of wish it was tucked up, but that's not critical. Kona across the back and the logo and that brake light is all the way across the back. I am aware that some people are not happy about the turn signals being located so low. A lot of people prefer them to be up higher. Again, this is part of their styling and it's something that I know I've heard a lot of feedback on. You've got the dual exhaust on this side, nothing on that side, nice and clean across the back. I do like the rear valence. It's all about the look, giving it a more sporty or updated design. Inside this more spacious interior, you will see a beautiful new interior, and that includes these really cool N-line seats that are stitched, as well as the red stripes, which I think are really nice, and the red stitching. Really nicely done. Eight-way power driver's seat with lumbar. Really nicely done. They did a really cool job making this vehicle look certainly more modern. The passenger side seat looks the same, but it is manual adjustments. And on the higher trim levels, you can get the six-way adjustable seating. This seat on the N line is manual. This does include three-way heated seats for both driver and passenger front. Ventilated seats are available on the limited edition. Going into the second row, there is certainly more room than the previous generation Kona. And I do like that armrest that folds down. Those seats fold 60-40 and there are two child attachment points on each outboard seat. Inside our N-line vehicle, there is a net behind the passenger seat, nothing behind the driver's seat, plenty of storage in the door. It's clean, it's more modern, and what's nice is behind that center console is an additional ventilation and two USB-C charge ports and more storage. The first thing you're going to note when you get in this vehicle is the two 12.3-inch screens that go completely across the front. Now, each screen does something different. First, you've got the reconfigurable gauge display, which you can adjust how you'd like. And one of the things I love on the safety is not on this car, which is the blind spot cameras. That should be available on the upper trim levels. On the right side is your entertainment screen, and this can be adjusted as you wish. You've got all of your information, your phone projection, voice memo, weather, valet mode, Hyundai CarPlay. It also has Blue Link involved your diagnostics, maintenance, everything is right here, including your online manual. There is a manual in the glove box, which is really nice. Now, as far as the navigation screen, it is crystal clear. Now, it's important to note there is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto that is currently wired. It will be wireless in the future, and that'll be part of the software download that we've been told is coming in the near future. Go back to that home button, and you can set this up 
to configure it how you'd like. There is ambient lighting inside this vehicle, but currently I really like this red line across the vehicle that stands for the N-Line setup, really beautiful. And the extra space that's stored in this area is just unbelievable compared to the previous generation. Now, when you go into the driver assistance systems, that is your safety. They're calling it something a little different. It's called Smart Sense. So you can pick which driver system that you want, whether it's driver attention, your speed limiter, your parking assist, your safety, your lane safety, your blind spot, and you can set these up as needed, standard or late settings. And then of all your other assistances are right here. Driver conveniences are going to be your highway drive assist, your changing of lanes, and your driver warning systems. You can set those up, speed limiter as well. Going into that setup mode, you can set up the systems any way you'd like. One thing I want to show you is the key fob. That H is here. That is the Hyundai logo, which is actually two people shaking hands. One leaning into the other person who is shaking their hands. That is also the key fob. It is also the Hyundai logo. The shifter has been moved to the column to give you more space between you. When you go into reverse, you have a backup camera. and A round view camera is available on other trim levels, but this allows you to adjust the shot so you can see what's going on. Really nice, large picture available for you. Going further down from this 12.3 inch screen, you've got your start stop and many of the settings that you would want to use on a regular basis. Home, your map, search, media, seek, your favorites and the setup. Below that, you've got your climate control to set that up however you would like. Below that, you've got USB-C charging as well as wireless charging down below and there is 12 volt charging here. Further back, you have your different drive modes. As you press those, you've got sport, snow, and normal because this is an H-Track, three-stage heated seats, ventilated seats available on the higher trim levels, and the auto hold for those that like to use that. Further back is the new Hyundai cup holders. Right now, it is clean. You can put your purse or something there. Push that out, and you've got cup holders. Or, if you don't want cup holders, push them back. Further storage is inside this small area and down below, plenty of storage. Across the front, there is more storage here for sunglasses or whatever you need and a good size glove box, as well as storage in the doors. A sunroof is available on our N-Line vehicle. One last thing I wanna show you is this logo is the same logo they're using on the Ionic. It does not have an H here anymore, it is four dots. That is part of the new styling cue and I love this red stitching on the steering wheel. And of course, that end to let you know that you're driving an end line. Very cool, nicely designed. I do love the aluminum details and paddle shifters to give you that more sporty feel. And you can customize these gauges as you wish. When I popped the hood, I was impressed to see that there were hydraulic struts rather than a prop rod, and that is on both sides. And that is very nice little option for a car at this price point. Under the hood are two gasoline engine options, or you can get an all-electric EV version, which we'll review separately. The standard engine is a 2-liter, which is 147 horsepower with a 0-60 to 60 time of 9.2 seconds. Or you can get the optional, more powerful, 190 horsepower turbocharged 1.6-liter engine, which gets 28 miles to the gallon combined for the front-wheel drive, or if you go with that H-Track all-wheel drive, it is 26 miles to the gallon with an 8-speed automatic transmission, which is optional. One of the first things you're going to note when you get inside the Hyundai Kona, besides the new look, more space, more modern design, people are going crazy for this car because the fact that you're getting what the old Kona was, but you're getting so much more, the standard safety. You're getting, of course, the new screens, the new technology, and two engine options, as well as the electric option, if you wish to go that way. Now, the base engine is not about performance. And in this case, we're driving the 1.6 liter turbo, which is slightly slower than the two liter engine. But that's not what this is a vehicle is about. This vehicle has all wheel drive, which is called an H-Track all wheel drive. And it works really nicely because you're getting nice ride. It absorbs all of the undulations in the road, which we have plenty of them here in New York State because our roads are terrible. But one of the other things that I like about this vehicle is the brakes are well balanced. As you can see, they grip, they grab right away. And beyond that, you're getting anti-lock brakes that kick in really nicely. I do like the quiet turn signal that this vehicle has. 
really easy to drive, good connection with the roadway. This vehicle is about having a small compact crossover that gets you where you need to go, plus the storage and the comfort. And these seats are really comfortable. I'm pleasantly pleased. They're a little narrower than the previous generation, but just the room, the comfort, the visibility out the front, all of that is a big improvement over the previous generation. Now, this is a very popular car and the price point on this is coming in at mid twenties. Now we'll talk about price pros and cons and competitors at the end. So make sure to stay to the end and don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends, because I think if you're looking for a new vehicle that is built here in the USA, that has everything that you want at a fair price, the Hyundai Kona really does that. It's really easy to drive. Like I said, pickup is as expected for 1.6 liter turbo. The standard two liter motor also has equivalent pickup nice and tight easy to do a u-turn and i think that's really important when you're driving a car that you need to get into a parking spot to do your daily drive whatever that might be the hyundai kona does give you confidence and that's what this vehicle is all about you're getting that long warranty you're getting all the technology and the safety that people want and i think that's going to make a big difference in the sales of this vehicle people want something that's reliable that has everything that they want technology safety visibility seating and the Kona does perform in this price point. I have to say you're getting a really great value. We'll talk about all that in just a minute. Let's take a look at cargo space. When it comes to cargo space, there is six cubic feet more space behind the second row seats than the previous generation. The total figures are now up to 25.5 cubic feet of storage with all seats in place, 63.7 cubic feet of storage with that second row folded flat. They do fold 60-40. This makes the Kona one of the roomiest models in its class for cargo space, and it also offers a spare tire, which many of its competitors do not offer. The 2024 Hyundai Kona starts at $25,400 and goes up to $33,100. Our test vehicle came in at $32,000. This is the end line. Now there are a ton of competitors and some pros and cons we should go over. When it comes to the competitor, you got the Volkswagen Taos, the Mazda CX-30, and many others. I'll put that in the list below in the description, as well as links to the reviews we've done so that you can check them all out before you make decision. As far as pros and cons, I love how this vehicle looks. Huge improvement, more room, more technology, more standard safety, overall biggest cargo space, and great value. Coming in a vehicle starting at $25,000, you're going to get that two liter engine, which is a little bit better pickup than this vehicle and a little bit better fuel economy. But overall, I am really impressed with what they have done with this vehicle. Konas are available at your dealer now. This one came from West Her Hyundai in Western New York. They've got two locations and a ton of vehicles in stock. I was really impressed that they got them before a lot of other dealers had them. So make sure to check them out. The link for that will be in the description as well. I have to say one of the biggest pluses is the larger space, the newer look, as well as that new technology and those screens, really impressive. On the negative side, I wish it was a performance model, but I hear there is an N coming and we'll review that separately as well as the EV version. But right now, if you're thinking about buying a compact crossover, absolutely check out the 2024 Hyundai Kona. If you have any additional questions, put it in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to answer those questions. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description as well as the book, the podcast, social media, and our website. We'll look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you so much for watching.